Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings, from an ancient homily on Holy Saturday. The Lord descends into hell. Something strange is happening. There is a great silence on earth today. A great silence and stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and he has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh and hell trembles with fear. He has gone to search for our first parents as for a lost sheep greatly desiring to visit those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death. He has gone to free from sorrow the captives Adam and Eve. He who is both God and the son of Eve. The Lord approached them bearing the cross, the weapon that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he had created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, My Lord, be with you all. Christ answered him, And with your spirit, he took him by the hand and raised him up, saying, Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. 
I am your God, who, for your sake, have become your son. Out of love for you and your descendants, I now, by my own authority, command all who are held in bondage to come forth, all who are in darkness to be enlightened, all who are sleeping to arise. I order you, O sleeper, to awake. I did not create you to be held a prisoner in hell. Rise from the dead, for I am the life of the dead. Rise up, work of my hands, you who were created in my image. Rise, let us leave this place, for you are in me and I in you. Together, we form one person and cannot be separated. Rise! Let us leave this place. The enemy led you out of the earthly paradise. I will not restore you to that paradise, but will enthrone you in heaven. I forbade you the tree that was only a symbol of life. But see, I, who am life itself, am now one with you. I appointed cherubim to guard you as slaves are guarded. But now I make them worship you as God. The throne formed by the cherubim awaits you. Its bearers swift and eager the bridal chamber is adorned. The banquet is ready. The eternal dwelling places are prepared. The treasure houses of all good things lie open. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared for you from all eternity. From the desert with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence 
Oh. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.